Let's read and share 2021. Book review on Hope on Turtle Island. Good day to my respectful judges, teachers and beloved friends. I'm Manushi Devan studying year 5 in SGKT Convent, Srambantu, Nagari Sambila. The story Hope on Turtle Island was written by Mr. Paul Shipton and illustrated by Mr. Carl Pierce. There's a special mention about this book that it contains activities by Madam Hannah Fish. Reading books strengthens the brain, builds vocabulary, expands the knowledge, enhances our imagination, and many more benefits. Reading is my all-time favorite hobby. I am very honored to reveal this fantastic storybook. This is an adventurous fiction story which has a lot of social awareness messages. There are six main characters in this story. Professor Hope, Grandpa, Ben, Rosie, Will and Daisy. Professor Hope and Grandpa are scientists and once were best friends. Rosie and Ben are grandchildren of Grandpa, while Daisy and Will are grandchildren of Professor Hope. Professor Hope, a brilliant scientist, wanted to make this world a better place by stopping electricity all over the world. The characters' interactions with each other made me to ponder why should we reduce pollution and how it saves life on Earth. The story begins when Ben and Rosie learned that high usage of plastic bags in shops will end up as waste and affects the environment. All of a sudden, everyone's mobile phone screens gone blank. Surprisingly, a man's voice began to speak about the beauty of our planet, but how people are destroying it and polluting it. That was a shocking moment. Then, Grandpa was missing. There, the journey to Turtle Island started when they hop on to Grandpa's amazing teleporting van. At Turtle Island, there was only one large building filled with unbelievable machines. Here, they found Grandpa. He was brought there by Professor Hope. They also met Will, Daisy and Professor Hope, the man who sent that strange message on their phones. That was a mind-boggling twist to the storyline. But Professor Hope was frustrated about the turtles that are not coming to Lydia Aids due to pollution. He enjoyed watching them as they ran to the sea. Well, in the olden days, in my opinion, that's an undeniable fact that human's irresponsible act eradicated the number of turtles. So, Professor Hope decided to stop electricity all over the world. But the teens, Rosie, Ben, Will and Daisy, proved that working together can save our planet. So they worked together and saved the remaining turtles from hungry seagulls. Seeing this, Professor Hope was really glad and immediately dropped his plan. He also added, that renewable energy can reduce pollution and stop natural resources exploitation. This was a happy ending for Rosie and Ben at Turtle Island. From this story, I learned how to protect our planet by reducing pollution and energy usage. The end. Thank you. Have a great day.